Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and welcome to Venus. In today's video we're going to be talking about more recent discoveries in regards to the surface of Venus and in what we now believe seems to be a type of plate tectonics that we may have detected on its surface. Anyway, welcome to What the Math. <laughs> So here are the three sister planets side by side, uh, with Earth in the middle, Venus on the right, and Mars on the left. And uh, we now believe, or I guess we've believed for a few years now, uh, that all three used to look very similar um, billions of years ago. Specifically, O3 had liquid water, O3 had some sort of atmosphere, and most likely some sort of a magne magnetosphere. Um, and at some point, O3 used to be what would be now known as habitable planets. Now, for one reason or another, only Earth sort of stayed as Earth and uh, basically remained habitable. And this is why we have so much life, including ourselves, on, on this planet. But Mars and Venus changed dramatically and took a very different approach. With Mars becoming a kind of a dry, dead world uh, with basically no geological activity on the surface, only signs of geological activity, such as these volcanoes that you see right here, and of course the ridges as well. On the other hand, Venus uh, has very thick atmosphere and it's really hard to see through it, but more recent discoveries showed us that its surface, uh, and I'm going to try to show it to you right now by basically removing the atmosphere, its surface seems to be covered with all sorts of ridges and all sorts of signs of geological activity very similar to the ones on Earth and to some extent on Mars. So once again this indicates that all three of these planets had relatively similar uh, surface and possibly even internal uh, structure at some point in history. Now very very recent discovery on very recent study uh, on Venus basically made a proposition that it actually is still geologically active, even though it doesn't look like um, like it is, if you just look at it. It seems that um, it has a type of a plate tectonic activity. Now, let me do a quick review of what plate tectonics implies. What you're observing right now is essentially a simulation of plate tectonics in action, where um, our continents and the place they're located on are moving around and changing the shape of Earth. Now, this is actually going back in time, uh, so in, in other words, it's sort of an in, in reverse. This particular video was actually made by a professor uh, from Texas. Uh, I believe his name is Christopher Scortesi. And um, in this video, you can kind of see how over time our planet has actually changed quite dramatically. And this is what we today refer to as plate tectonics. So here is a, another procedurally generated tectonic simulation um, by... I actually don't know who made this, as uh, there's no contact information available, but I guess his name is De Davidson. Um, but anyway, so in this particular simulation, you can kind of see how over time, and we're going to try to accelerate this a little bit, uh, plate tectonics actually uh, basically change the shape and the surface of the planet. In this particular case, it's basically a procedurally generated planet. Now, so... We know that this is how plate tectonics work on, on uh, Earth, and on Mars we thought that it had a kind of a similar idea called stagnant lid, basically implying that uh, the whole crust is one continuous piece, um, and the plate tectonics don't really occur because it's essentially just one joined um, piece of shell. And we kind of thought that this is what's happening on Venus as well, but it turns out we may have been wrong because we now discovered that Venus seems to have um, these parameters that indicate that there is some motion going on. And specifically, actually, here is a picture indicating some of the potential movements that have been detected in the last few decades, um, also suggesting that it's not really plate tectonics as we know it, but it's somewhere in between completely stagnant shell where essentially nothing moves and a somewhat mobile crust that uh, seems to be the case for Venus. In other words, if Mars had the completely stagnant shell where nothing moves and Earth had completely active plate tectonics where everything moves, Venus was somewhere sort of in the middle where things move but just not really the way we see them on Earth. 
Now, we are not entirely sure what exactly is happening on Venus, but we just know that there's definitely some sort of a tectonic activity going on. And uh, it's very possible that uh, this is actually something that happens on other exoplanets out there uh, that we may need to investigate in more detail. Now, one of the reasons we think that uh, this so-called crustal motion occurs is because the surface of Venus is very hot. Now, in this particular simulation, it's kind of low because I removed the atmosphere, uh, but the actual temperature of, on Venus is, on average, about 462 degrees Celsius, suggesting that um, one of the reasons this crustal movement occurs is because the surface is already so hot that rock kind of behaves as a somewhat uh, liquid-like material. And this also suggests that this might be actually just one of the stages of plate tectonics and something that our own Earth may have experienced as well. Now, this study basically leads to a whole new idea of plate tectonics not really being fixed. In other words, it's not something that either happens or doesn't happen. It might be actually something that happens for a little bit and then stops and then occurs again. So Venus, for all we know, might actually be in this in-between stage. Whether it's going to have plate tectonics later or not is another question, but we know that uh, Venusian surface actually does have some really, really uh, extreme events happening every 300 million years or so, and there's one that's going to happen in the next few million years because it's sort of uh, due for another such event. And maybe, that just maybe, this will actually restart the plate tectonics on the surface, thus changing the surface of Venus completely. But this actually does have a lot of implications. One of them is that um, we now think that in the next 5 billion years or so, so basically when Earth is about 10 billion years old, it's very likely that the plate tectonics on Earth will also stop. And this will not be uh, very good for our planet because it will most likely lead to the same thing that happened on Venus, the so-called runaway greenhouse effect, where pretty much the entire uh, deposit of CO2 inside our planet will come to the surface, turning our planet ridiculously, scorchingly, uh, ultra-hot, possibly raising the temperatures to 200, 300, or even higher uh, degrees Celsius. We're not entirely sure um, when this is going to happen. It's definitely not going to be anytime soon, but if it does happen, it's going to be basically the end of habitable Earth as we know it, and its face will more likely be similar to that of Venus. But this still doesn't answer the question what will actually happen to Venus. So when and if the uh, Venusian crust starts moving around again, it might actually become more habitable looking. In other words, it might actually turn into something that looks like Earth. Or at least uh, lose some of its atmospheric pressure and some of its temperature and uh, become easier to uh, essentially terraform and turn into something that looks like Earth. For now, though, that's all we discovered. We basically now understand a little bit more about plate tectonics and just understand that it's not all or none event. It does seem to have an in-between like it, it appears to have on Venus. And um, what happens next is obviously going to depend on when we come back to Venus and when we start studying it again. So for now, all our focus have been on Mars. And maybe, just maybe, we need to refocus our attention on Venus once again and try to discover as much about it as we can because it is a lot similar to Earth than Mars is. As you can see, Mars is a lot smaller and a lot more dead looking. Anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video and hopefully now you know a little bit more about Venus and how we just discovered an unusual plate tectonics-like event right here on Venus. Before we finish this video, let's actually re-enable the gravity and see what happens with these planets if the gravity suddenly comes back to this unusual universe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, come back tomorrow to learn something else, space out, and as always, bye bye.